My name is Rajiv Jangiani. I serve as the Associate Vice Provost uh, for Open Education at Kwantlen Polytechnic University. Uh, KPU, for short, is a public post-secondary institution in British Columbia in Canada. And over there, my job is to really lead, to shepherd the institution's open education and open recognition initiatives. So I'm talking about things like the creation, adaptation, and adoption of open educational resources, the embrace of open pedagogies, but also micro-credentialing, uh, prior learning, and how we can really widen equitable access to education by really uh, drawing on all of those. So here, of course, I'm very interested in all of the above. Um, we're going to have a discussion uh, about how open educational resources, for example, can be harnessed uh, to shrink, to reduce the global skills gap. Um, certainly we'll be talking about open recognition in terms of micro-credentialing and recognizing prior learning. But I think really interested in, in um, sharing, in learning from what other people are doing in different pockets of the world um, to see how we can really work together. Uh, in many ways, I feel this is a space where even though different institutions are often competitive uh, in, in their own contexts, within open recognition and open education in particular, I think there's an opportunity to go much further if we collaborate. So that's really what I'm here for. So I think beyond basic discussions about how we can harness open educational resources, open pedagogies, and open recognition systems, I'm hoping that we can also have a bit of a critical discussion. So for example, instead of just talking about learning analytics, I'm hoping we can talk about data privacy. Instead of just talking about access, I'm hoping we can also talk about accessibility. Um, and instead of assuming that great OER can be used and reused worldwide, uh, we can maybe think more deeply uh, about who is perhaps privileged enough to, to create the OER that gets used elsewhere. So for example, we know that you can't just create an astronomy open textbook in North America and assume, hey, we've solved the problem, here's your textbook. In South Africa, the sky looks a bit different in the Southern Hemisphere, or the epistemologies that are baked within the materials that we produce. So I'm hoping that we can go beyond basic discussions about addressing global skills gap to think more critically about the strategies, about the mechanisms that we're gonna draw on.